And what you're looking at here, this is the uh, main dashboard of A3. And this is the one running in our test lab. So uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, devices in it at the moment. Uh, we're, this is what we're using for demonstrations and for, for testing and, and things like that. Uh, this particular system uh, allows us to view a variety of different options. You can see the load average for the A3 system itself. Uh, you can see the number of violations. You can see the CPU utilization, uh, the disk I/O, et cetera. So a really great dashboard. Uh, lots of great uh, uh, graphs and analytics that are uh, present within this product. We also have great reporting. So you can go in and quickly see all the various operating systems that are running, the number of violations that have occurred. You can see who the top bandwidth consumers are, uh, the top failures by MAC address or successes by SSID. There's a variety of different reports available to you, including your guest onboarding. You can see that uh, the number of sponsorship registrations or SMS registrations are also available within here and uh, which phone numbers they were sent to, et cetera. We also have uh, great accounting. So we can go in and uh, view things by number of registered devices, uh, number of different authentication sources. You can also look at this from a node perspective. So we can look at individual nodes and find out if they're on the network now or how they uh, came onto the network. Um, you can uh, dive a little bit deeper into them and find out uh, how they were registered, uh, you know, which role was assigned to them. If we've assigned a uh, fingerprint to that particular device, we'll give you all the details about that. If there's been a violation, we can view those violations. And we can see uh, a variety of different things that we can trigger to assess those devices manually. There is an automated system as well. Uh, this just allows you a little override. So if you wanted to say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm really worried about this one guy. I think he's sending spam. We can go ahead and trigger a spam uh, scan of that device and we'll monitor that specifically for spam uh, if we didn't have that already in uh, the rule set. You can also look at this from the point of view of users coming onto the network. So if you want to see all the devices that uh, I brought on the network or what Lynn brought on the network, you can go ahead and, and look at those as well. And of course, all of these can be built to create your own search and your own reports so you have a lot of customization. The big advancement, though, is the workflow. That, now, this is not to say that uh, implementing a secure access management solution is easy. It's always going to be complicated depending on how complicated your network is. Uh, but relative to our competitors, we think this is a much better workflow, much easier to understand. You start by defining the roles that you want uh, devices to take when they come on the network. And you specify these roles here. You can specify the maximum number of devices assigned to that role. So if a user comes on board, as a student, they can bring five devices onto the network. Uh, BYOD, you've got three devices, and you can limit that here. And then you do your Active Directory integration. You go ahead and add your Active Directory into the system, uh, and it will do a test join to make sure that uh, it's working, and you can rescan that if you wish. And then you add in your various authentication sources. So we support a wide variety of internal, external, and special types of ways to authenticate people. Here you can see we have Active Directory, ETLS, uh, Web Password, we have LDAP. Uh, this is a RADIUS server, so uh, you have full RADIUS control here. Uh, single sign-on with SAML supported. For your guests, we have a variety of different uh, social login capabilities. You can see Facebook, GitHub, Google, Instagram, et cetera. You also have the ability to do uh, text validation. Most of the major uh, cell carriers gateways are included. Uh, you can also add your own in, or you can use the built-in support for the Twilio SMS gateway uh, if you like to use Twilio. And then we also have the ability to do email validation up here at the top where it will go ahead and send an, uh, an email out and make sure that uh, you click the activation link in order to enable that, as well as uh, guest sponsorship. So with guest sponsorship, it will send an email to uh, people that you've specified, like a lobby attendant or 
uh, directors within your company who are permitted to allow people in, and it'll go ahead and send them an email and they click a link to allow you onto the network. Edge of Rome integration is right here. Uh, Edge of Rome basically works like a, a big radius server and you configure that there. And your billing integration is built here as well. After you've done that, you then add in your network devices. You can bulk import these if you wish. And these, of course, are your switches, your WLAN controllers, access points, et cetera. Uh, in a future release version of this product, we're gonna have it fully integrated into Hive Manager and it will just auto-populate this screen. And then you can choose which devices are configured how, and you don't have to go ahead and, and bulk import from uh, Hive Manager. Once you've brought in those devices and connected them to A3, it's then up to you to specify a connection profile that ties this all together. So it brings in the roles with the uh, Active Directory users, the authentication sources and the devices, and uh, you can choose how to interact with them. In many cases, we throw up a splash page. You can choose whether to do an onboarding scan uh, when they come on board. Uh, you can customize that splash screen uh, right here by adding in your own logo, redirection URLs, text, et cetera. There's complete access to all the files of the portal within the files area where you can edit the look and feel of those as well. And then you can preview this. So in many areas of A3, there's a preview button that you can select and it opens up a screen that would look exactly like the screen on your phone or laptop. It's fully responsive design. So if you decided to uh, resize this page in some way, it's going to go ahead and react responsively. And this is a working page. So you can actually go through the sign-up process if you wanted and uh, you know, fill out the form and try it out and make sure that it's working properly. Once uh, devices are on the network, it's important to make sure that if they've done something that's against your rules, that you go ahead and trigger an event around that. So we have a deep violations page, and you can see you can add multiple violations and you can choose when they're uh, being used. So we have everything down here from malware, uh, lost or stolen device, uh, spam, uh, up to just generic things such as doing a posture assessment for these devices. And you can see here that uh, when a Nessus scan is triggered, and you can choose which Nessus modules to use or which OpenFast modules, we can then uh, email the violation to the user. Uh, we can email the violation to the administrator. We can change their network access. And you can choose from other things as well. We could uh, deregister the node. Um, you can choose what the triggers are, what the remediation is. You can make the remediation automatic. And so some really great uh, support for those violations. Uh, the rest of the workflow just gets a little bit more detailed. There's integration with your firewalls here, uh, advanced access configurations, uh, network config, and then the system config as well. So as you can see, much easier to use, still complex product, uh, still requires uh, uh, a lot of work to get it integrated, but we think it's dramatically simpler than our competitors for the same amount of features that you're getting.